Cool. Welcome class. So this is an overview of camera movements. So first up we have the pan, which is pivoting the camera from left to right. And again, left to right. Next up we have a tilt, which is pivoting the camera up and down. Next up we have a crane which is moving the camera up and down. Oops. We also have the dolly which is moving the camera back and forth. We have the truck, which is moving the camera left and right. And then we have zooming in and we have zooming in. and zooming out. Then last up we have tracking, which is following um, the subject with your camera. So now we're moving on to stock angles, and this is a wide shot, also known as an establishing shot. Um, take note that it's establishing setting because you see me and the, and the background and how we correl and how we correlate. So the next shot is a medium shot or a full shot, which is um, a bit closer than a bit closer than a long shot, and it's more so about the body and like, getting body movement. So this is a waist up medium shot or a waist up full shot, um, and it's more so like con um, concentrated on like my torso and uh, my body. So this is the close up, which is all about getting detail and especially um, facial detail and like, getting the emotions that come across with your face. So the extreme close up is um, a really is super in depth and is about getting extreme detail on like a tiny subject. Cool. So this is getting to camera angles and um, more on shots. So this is a two-person shot, which is showing like um, one has two people in the frame, and also showing the relationship with like how they interact. You know, you can tell your friends and chummy because like we're both in the same frame. How's it going? Pretty good, thanks. <laughs> how are you? I'm good. Wonderful, spectacular. <laughs> so this is a face-to-face -face two person shot. Um, it's more so about, you kind of see it more so in like interviews when you want to get the interviewer and the interviewee chatting and talking. Um, it's again about like some relationships with the people in the frame. Cool. So this is a POV side and pretty much the camera becomes the object um, that you want to illustrate. So like n right now the camera is coming from the POV of Morgan and just seeing me and my beautiful face. And then we pull back to have an over the shoulder side. This is again another staple of interviews to see 
Um, again, like the relationship with the interview, the interviewee and the interviewer. So this is moving on to camera angles. So right now I'm at an eye level, which means the camera is eye level with, um, I'm eye level with the camera. So it's like we're both on eco settings. And then we're moving down to a low angle, or as I put it, like a, um, a warm angle or like a child angle, which where the camera is looking up at the subject and euphemize in um, projecting that the person is powerful because you're looking up at them, like a child looks up to a parent. Then we have the high angles, which is the reverse, um, or also called the bird's eye view angle. Um, it's again like the camera looking down at a subject, like a parent looks down at a child and like makes the subject look um, powerless or small in comparison. So, this is another type of angle, um, this getting people out of sight of seating, this flat images. Um, that can also be used a lot for movement angles and action angles. Um, notice how the camera moves diagonally at lines to create movement, but also to um, really create another way of looking at objects and things. So another way of composing your shots is um, take note of like the background. Like for this for this shot, like notice how the flat the background is, and like it makes the image more flatter. Because um, it's really just focusing on your subject and nothing else, really. So this is, again, like, the background is still flat, but because it's colorful, it adds a lot more pop to the shot and, like, a lot more, it's almost visibly, more visibly pleasing to the viewer. So, this is um, another example of perspectives. Um, this is, like, a shallow, like, notice how the background is more shallow and, like, there's not really a lot of room or space and like it makes the world, it makes the world you're showing like a lot more smaller. And then as we pan, so this, um, so this side is like the background has a lot more depth, and thus the world feels bigger and more. And if there's like people in the background, be a lot more fuller, and like you'll, um, you're emphasizing um, a lot more than just a shallow background.